on this day in combat sports history. On September 12, 1951, Sugar Ray Robinson avenged what's famously called the biggest upset in boxing history. You see, it was July, and a little-known English boxer by the name of Randolph Turpin stepped inside a London ring ready to take on the champion. At that point in Robinson's career, he had transitioned from athlete to celebrity. The fight took place during a European tour that saw Robinson travel to a different city every night with a large team consisting of a hairdresser, dance instructor, golf coach, a pink Cadillac, and a dwarf named Arabian Knight. Ray would compete and dispatch an astonishing six opponents in seven weeks, but it would be his last one that would prove to be his undoing. Perhaps taking the fight lightly, Robinson was pushed by Turpin to all 15 rounds. Turpin may not have been in Robinson's league in terms of experience, smarts, and technique, but he was younger, fresher, and stronger. At the final bell, to everyone's astonishment, there was no doubt as to who deserved their hand raised by the referee. After the fight, Robinson proclaimed, I have no alibis. I was beaten by a better man. The loss would have a devastating impact on Robinson's public perception. So when the two fighters met again two months later at the Polo Grounds in New York City, Robinson was on a mission. What we saw was a grueling, tightly contested battle. Robinson was more assertive than in the first meeting, but the Englishman was going nowhere, muscling Robinson around for much of the fight. Finally, a string of hard shots would put Turpin down in the 10th. That would be enough as a referee would stop the fight, awarding Sugar Ray Robinson with the belt he once held. Despite the two close battles, neither Robinson or Turpin would agree to a third rubber match. Regardless, their clashes go down forever in the annals of boxing history. Every time I wake up, shit feel the same. Got a million thoughts and they ringing on my brain. Sipping on my favorite liquor just to ease the pain. Cause I feel like I'm crazy and desperate need to change. Making plans to move and talk from state to state. Talking pounds and haze, medical high. Ray, look how my eyes stay. What more can I say? How dare a nigga tell me that this rap won't work?